Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made our way through the Gerudo region, and well, we found a lot of hidden shrines within its desert. And before we make our way elsewhere and discover more shrines, there's one last thing I want to get within Gerudo, and that's actually their most prized possession. Now you guys may know what it is, because we did help them retrieve this item when it was stolen from them by the Yiga clan, and that is the Thunder Helm. Yeah, we can actually get our hands on the Thunder Helm, not exactly own it, more so borrow it, because, you know, it is a Gerudo heirloom, so I don't think they're going to give it to us straight up. But, I mean, we did use it to calm down Naboris, and now that Naboris is on our side and Gerudo really has no threat, they really don't need this. So, maybe I can get my hands on it, and he actually can. But to do this side quest, you actually have to do a lot of side quests within Gerudo Town itself, which we'll get into in a second. But as you can see, Riju herself has a side quest for us, so... Before I even speak to her, and you don't really have to speak to her, you could just check out the Thunder Helm itself, and it will have you talk to her. So let's go ahead and examine it. Pretty cool helm, uh... Halt! Oh, that is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunder Helm! You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. But calm yourself, Valeria. You desire the helm? Yes, I want it! Please, come on! I see, and yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa, and if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Okay, lend it to me, I'll, I just need it, yeah, that'd be awesome. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This Thunder Helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address your concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. Uh, okay, so, yeah, to get the Thunder Helm, we don't need to just do one side quest. We gotta help all the Gerudo, because, I mean, it is the Gerudo treasure, so we gotta earn it the right way. So, yeah, we already know that you are powerful, but you can't solve all the problems with power alone. That is very true. We gotta use our brain, kinda, you know, to solve certain puzzles. So, let's go ahead and get started, and, uh, yeah, this is actually pretty... Exciting because uh, this Thunder Helm is gonna help me out a lot. I'm sure you guys know especially with yeah How annoying Thunder can be I mean I literally lost Urbosa's sword because of it And if I actually speak to Beleria right now She will notice that I lost it, but since I don't have the material to rebuild it Sadly, I'm gonna have to ignore her for now, but all right So it is turning daytime which I want it to because uh yeah, we're going to be doing side quests to obtain the Thunder Helm, and you may be wondering what kind of side quests. Well, we actually have done two of them already, and that is the Secret Club side quest, which is, you know, entering the Secret Club by putting in GSC Diamond, which means Gerudo Secret Club Diamond. Uh, so yeah, if you don't know the password, that's how you get in there. And then we also did the side quest of helping out, uh, you know, this chick here with getting all the jewelry, you just need to give her 10 pieces of flint. So that's two side quests down, and we could easily look at them in our uh, adventure log here, or in our side quest log to be exact. And um, it is going to be see this Gerudo Town one, the Secrets Club. Uh, the eighth heroine we don't have to do because it's a Gerudo Desert one, but also Gerudo Town. So any side quest that has Gerudo Town in it, you want to have it say complete, of course. And so far, we're doing good, but we got to complete the main one, which is actually completing a lot more side quests. So, what other side quests do we have to do? We've done two already, uh, you know, outside of this video, but we still have a couple more. So, there's actually one that we can do right over here, and it is daytime already, but it's not early enough. There's actually a little girl here who wants to grow as you could see. Okay, wow, that is dirty, yeah. Um, there's a lot of, you know pretty much trash that is being thrown in this water and there's a girl who wants to grow something and use the clean water but she can't and we're gonna figure out a little more about that if I wait a little bit longer so instead of going to sleep I believe I did pick up a lot of extra you know wood so I can make myself campfires and pretty much all I need to do right now is just sit here and wait until noon. Noon is like the perfect time to find any of the NPCs you're looking for because in this game the NPCs you know, they're out and about. They actually do stuff. All the NPCs, even the ones with side quests. So, yeah, certain times they might not be here. And as you can see, now the girl is here. So, uh, why? Okay, so yeah, we're the Vi from out of town. I wanted to plant an orchard here. I picked up trash. I pulled the weeds. I tilted the ground. I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the earth happy. But, but, 
The trash, yeah, there's trash constantly being thrown. All this trash keeps getting washed down into the water, and I can't use the water anymore. And if I can't use the water anymore, my orchard is doomed. So yeah, it's pretty sad. Oh, look, she's crying too. She's just so upset. We gotta help her out. She needs help. So, what do we do? Well, I mean, we can clearly see, we can clearly see the, the, yeah, the litter that's happening here. There's trash constantly following the stream into the water she's trying to use. So, let's get to the bottom of this. And who is doing this nonsense? Well, I guess we should follow the trash itself and see where it leads to. Because, yeah, this is very rude. And, uh, you know, yeah, this is just little girl just wants to, you know, make an orchard. I, yeah, it, it's pretty hilarious, you know, how messed up it is. But hopefully we'll be able to help her out. So... Let's go ahead and uh, make our way here and aha we have figured it out and look she's throwing it right in front of us how rude chomp chomp what are you doing so what's with you uh, how can I enjoy my snack with you staring at me actually you need to chill out because you are littering everywhere and it's uncool what garbage and yeah so a small vase is having trouble yes she is oh sure you spring this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle well no I do what I want Come on, it's a little girl. Don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Are you kidding me? So yeah, she wants to eat wild berry. And it's similar to like a lot of the quests we've been doing. We've been giving him 10 of whatever it is. So we got to give her 10 wild berries. Now, I don't know if I already have 10 on me. Because I don't think I really cook my berries as much as, you know, I need to. But it's a good, it's a good thing that I didn't. Because uh, yeah, I might be able to give her... The amount she needs so let me double check and see how much I have I have three but it's fine okay because yeah just in case you guys don't have any I'll show you guys a perfect spot to farm them and she literally tells you a perfect spot which is and in the side quest here it says the Gerudo Highlands now we've been to the Gerudo Highlands and uh, you know we explored it pretty well it's in the snow so yeah you're gonna find a lot of wild berries in snowy areas and the Gerudo Highlands is the closest place to Gerudo with, I mean, it literally has Gerudo in it. That is cold, at least, because the rest of Gerudo is a desert. So, yeah, we're heading to the highlands so we can find some wild berries. And I believe from where we teleported the shrine, shouldn't be too hard. But we're going to see right now. So, here we are in the afternoon when the sun is peaking. And, yeah, everything is so bright and reflective. It is freaking awesome. Now, let me quickly swap into... The attire I need, which we can literally just put on this and we'll be good because we have a flame weapon out, which, uh, you know, emanates heat. So it gives us the heat we need to withstand the cold. And same goes for uh, ice objects. If I'm like in the heat and I want to withstand it, if I have an ice object, which I do, a frost blade, I can use that. Now, a lot of you guys have been telling me uh, in the last video that I can also use the Goron armor. Like the, the the flame guard armor to um, withstand heat from the desert. And yeah, I hate to burst you guys' bubble, but I'm yeah, you can't do that. I mean, I feel like I would have known of that if, if I could. I wouldn't have bought in a heat resistant item for, for no reason. So yeah, you can actually do that and I'll prove it to you guys. Because a lot of you guys were telling me to do that when yeah I think yeah I think I would have known about that if it was possible but you can't actually do that at all uh flame guard is for when link is literally getting caught on fire heat resistant items is when link is in the heat and they are two separate things yeah logically it doesn't make too much sense but we're talking about a Nintendo game here and if you're really going to question the logic then you're yeah you're thinking too much about it <laughs> That's all I have to say, but okay, so we got over 10 wild berries sweet I'm not gonna search anymore, but uh, I mean I feel like this is the best example of where to get wild berries Just teleport and look and there you go. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and um, Quickly, you know give them up and I'm gonna go ahead and show off if it's a uh, hot outside right now to prove to you guys that you can actually use the um, The Goron tunic just so you guys can see as well that link will get hot and I f I mean I feel like it makes sense because you know Nintendo makes heat resistant items they wouldn't make the flame resistant item also a heat resistant item then there'd be no point to have both within the game but yeah if we go ahead and kind of run out a uh, link should yeah there you go he's exhausted so let me go ahead and just quickly show off so I can you know make my point here very quickly so I put on this he's fine right let's take it off 
Let's go ahead and put on this. He's fine. Okay, so frost items, heat resistant items work. Let's uh, let's remove the frost item. Let's put on Disha Claymore. And then let's put on Flame Guard. Nope. Nope. See, it doesn't work. There you go, guys. So you can't actually use it because the Flame Guard is meant for uh, yeah, a different purpose, of course. It's uh, meant for literally in Death Mountain and only, like, yeah, very, very hot areas that cause Link to literally ignite on fire and burn. Um... And I guess there are two different things. So, yeah, I, I just really wanted to point that out because I noticed a lot of you guys pointing it out when um, you can't really do that. But, all right, so we have what we need. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly Revali's Gale Tour. You can't even see anything on the screen because how bright the sun gets and how, yeah, all the bright colors reflect the sun. Uh, I mean, it reminds me of real life because, yeah, when it snows where I live... It, when I look outside and the sun is out, it literally looks like this. Or even sand, like both areas, sand and snow, really reflect the sunlight when it's this bright. So anyways, so yeah, I've been thinking, blah, 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 I don't really care. Here's the wild berry, so berry delivery. Here you go. Well, that should do it. So sweetness! So that's the wild berry, it's delicious. Yeah, and she, there's no rind to toss. She doesn't have to worry about any type of trash. She'll be making, but yeah, there we go. And uh, now that I've been my, that my craving has been satisfied, she'll go clean up the trash, and everything is good. So there we go. We have done the quest. Now let's go ahead and speak to the little girl and let her know that we've done it. So yeah, she should definitely be really happy about that. And um, I mean, that will pretty much do it for this quest. So we can move on to another quest. So let's go ahead and quickly speak to her, and well. Yeah, hey, you, listen, yeah, the other vibe, blah, 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 everything is normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you? So she's going to give us a Hydro Lemon in, uh, as a reward. But, see, here's the thing. I don't really care about the reward of this side quest. I care about the reward of the Rejuice side quest. You know, that's why I did this, of course. Because normally this would be a side quest that I wouldn't really want to do or go out of my way to do for how bad the reward is itself. But, okay, so I believe... She's going to tell us about, hmm, okay, so what are you doing here? I don't think this is actually a quest we need to do, but I just want to see what the quest is going to be. Don't worry, I'm not going to do it. So my lips are sealed about the Gerudo Desert, the Seven Heroines. I think this is the quest we were supposed to get. So let's see, blessing, blah, blah, blah. It should say shrine quest complete the second we obtain it. So we got it and complete? No? What? That's, oh, there we go. Complete. Okay, so this is what I was talking about in the last episode, that I didn't pick up the shrine quest. Though, don't worry, this wasn't even a quest we had to do. We have to do side quests for um, for the Thunder Helm. So, we have three down. I believe we have two more to go. So, another side quest we can do is actually to search for one of these people. So, uh, what, what? Uh, so, yeah, Barta did not come back again. I'm afraid she's by the Leviathan bones. I just realized those are the bones we've seen in the last video as well that's really cool so it's extremely hot idiots blah blah, blah. we got to go help her out so the search for barta now let me see if i have the item we need i believe all you need is a uh hardy durain and i guess i could show off for to get those i do have my own i mean you know you can you can buy them from here right so before you leave i was going to show off an area you can farm them pretty easily, which is actually in the Faron province, and Hardy Durains are amazing for making a uh, full restore HP type food. Anything hardy can really heal you, but if you need a Hardy Durain and don't have one, you can also buy one for 60 rupees, but with that said, let's go ahead and now make our way to the bones of Leviathan, and yeah, that's actually so sick that they reference the, the, I mean, I don't know, they, there's so many references though, so it shouldn't really surprise me, but yeah, just, we're going to find so many references from every Zelda game, and I guess it shouldn't be much of a surprise or really raise too many questions, because, yeah, it's just kind of like this is the end of Hyrule after everything has kind of passed, and, uh, you know, this is kind of the outcome, you could say, but, okay, let's go ahead and um, speak to, yes, she's right here, actually, uh, right outside, I believe you have to get this quest to spot her, because we would have spot her, of course, Heading to this giant, um, you know, skeleton. And yeah, this is the one of Leviathan. So, that's interesting to know. But, alright, let's go ahead and now speak to her. So, are you a fairy? An angel? No, I'm just here. Snap out of it, come on. 
All right, so she needs a hearty Durain one last time, a hearty Durain. Uh, and we literally have that. So take this. And well, that will obviously do it. So there we go. Okay, she's back. Blah, blah, blah. Your boss was mad. You got to head back. So yeah, she pretty much just needs to make her way back because she was missing for a while. She's in so much trouble. And well, that does that for that quest. So there we go. The search for Barta has been updated. We can make our way back. I guess I'll literally do that very quickly. So we can easily check, list, check this on our to-do list. I think now all we have is one more side quest. And this one actually requires defeating Mulduga. Now we did already, and we obtained some of its parts. And we're going to need some of its parts for a certain quest, which you guys will see very soon. Because, yeah, that might I believe that is literally the final quest we need to do, because I believe there are five in total. It's not too many. Um, it's usually doing the, only the Gerudo Town side quest. You don't even have to do any of the shrine quests or anything like that. So, let's go ahead and use Rivoli's Guild one more time. And, uh, I guess make our way to the guards. And, uh, yeah, collect our prize. Because we helped them out big time. But, I'm trying to wonder where I'll find the person for the final quest. Because, yeah, you need, like, Molduga parts for the final one. And since we already have it, we don't even have to farm it. Because we literally killed one. For a shrine in the last video, but so yeah, we're blah 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 champion. Thanks for that. Now give me the money I need. Yay, okay. So that does it for that side quest, and now one more. Um let's see. I guess I could just wait out time and see if she'll appear at noon. Like I said, noon is like the best time to search for people, because that's usually when they appear. As you can see, I got a lot of Molduga fins and and guts. So yeah, we're more than set. I'm sure we have the amount we need. Literally killing one Molduga should help you out a lot. But, alright, let's go ahead and light this. Sit till noon and see if that is all we need to do. Because, like I said, the NPCs are out and about. So, I don't really know where this NPC will end up. <gasps> She's here. Okay, never mind. So, she does appear at noon. Um, as you can see, she has a quest. So, please. I believe she's asking the guards because she didn't know. So, uh, yeah. So, she found the vow of her dreams. I recently married him. I thought I finally found happiness. But then my husband fell ill with a rare disease. One difficult to cure. The one thing that can save him is the guts of Molduga. What? Okay, well, I can take down the creature. I already did. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, help her out. So yeah, Molduga is a creature. And she literally tells us where the dunes are so we can fight it. I already did it. So I don't have to worry. So oh, it's you. Blah, blah, blah. Here, take the guts. I got what you need. So, wait, these Molduga guts. Okay, you're going to give them to me. Yep. And, well, I believe that is it. So, we got the rupees, but I don't really care for that. I care about the main prize. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. How many guts she t did she take from us, by the way? Did she take all of them? No, she only took one, too. So, think of how easy that side quest is. You, you literally just need to kill one Molduga, and you'll have more than enough for this. But, all right. So... Now, with that done, let's go ahead and uh, see if that's it. So, hey, uh, Riju, what do you think? So, I've heard your recent actions. You have returned smiles to the faces of my people. On behalf of all Gerudo, I must offer you my heartfelt thanks. And you are, from this moment, a true friend of the Gerudo. I c if it and if I can help a true friend in need, we will gladly lend you this sacred treasure. Yes, so we got the Thunder Helm. We are now officially lightning proof. This helmet is going to make us actually withstand lightning itself, which is so amazing. And yeah, we're going to use it to its full potential. I believe you can unlock the power of Arbosa that lies within. <gasps> oh, okay. Um, Let's go ahead and pop this on. And uh, all right, this, we got a Thunder Helm. It was actually really this easy. Like, the quest isn't too difficult. You just got to do all five main quests. Again, I'll open them up so you guys can see them really quickly. Um, so, yeah, this, the side quest is literally all these Gerudo 10 ones, one after another. Um, and it starts off with, you know, like the the five flint pieces, or the ten flint pieces, the secret club, the, you know, yeah, the one that was, you know, throwing the, um, the hydromelons within the water. We got to get rid of that for a little girl. Don't worry about the 8th heroine, we don't, that's a desert quest. So yeah, 
But the uh, the Mulduga, and then obviously the search for Barta, and then it will end off with the helm itself. And Link looks freaking awesome, and apparently he can wear it in front of them without getting kicked out. I mean, he's... I guess covering his face doesn't matter, because it's not like he has the beard, so no one will truly tell, but... Alright, so we could use a Thunder Helm in here, and uh, yeah, they have to respect us for that. I mean, it is the freaking Helm. I wonder if actually... Wait a second. <laughs> okay, wouldn't it be cool if they gave you... <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if they gave you the option to come in as a foe after helping them all out? They should be aware that the person who helped out every Gerudo here... It was a man, not, yeah, a man pretending to be a girl, but whatever, it's fine. So, now that we are out, it's time to put this baby to use. Now, the first thing I need to do is see what she meant when she said combined it with her boss's power. So, okay, I, I, she didn't really mean anything. For some reason, I thought it was actually going to look a lot bigger or look any different. It's not like I can tell with how bright the screen gets in the sand, but... All right, so for real though, let's actually put this to use since we do have the um, Thunder Helm, whose request I've been kind of saving off for this occasion. Now, for those, wait, what the heck? They literally tell us to go here too. Oh my, I did not know that. This was literally, I already planned this beforehand. Trial of Thunder, that is so awesome. So, I, I literally didn't know the game was going to um, require me or I guess push me into doing this test or this trial but I purposely was saving this trial until I got the Thunder Helm so I can do it like I thought it would be the best way to demonstrate how OP the Thunder Helm really is by doing this trial so it's really cool how the game also has a similar mindset in like what I was going for like they want you to do that trial after you get it they don't want you to do it beforehand because yeah, the Thunder Helm is super useful here. So, yeah, I'm sure you guys remember, regardless, the Ridgeland Tower. This was the one and only tower within the ones we were um, bringing back, you know, activating, to be exact. Um, and, yeah, this is the only one that gave me so much trouble because I had such an issue scaling it um, because of, you know, the, all the freaking whiz robes that would shock me. But now, actually, let me just show you guys how freaking strong we are with this so hey guy hi he's literally waving at me all right show me your moves man I'm literally gonna stand don't even need to look at him there you go nothing happens it just absorbs it it is that good but yeah this could not be better how the game wants me to do this trial when i was purposely saving this trial for when i got this so this works out perfectly it's time to enter the thundera plateau this here reminds me a lot of Shadow of the Colossus in the sense of just like giant structures, you know, feeling really isolated and trying to solve something. But, I mean, Shadow of the Colossus was mainly like traversing to giant colossal-like enemies. Um, but the similarities are very identical. I don't know, I was really impressed with how huge the map was for Shadow of the Colossus, even though it was really barren. I appreciated it. It was a huge world that existed in a video game. Um... This game is the same thing. It has something very similar in that regard with such a massive, huge world to take on. And, uh, yeah, it's just like, even though, I mean, there, there's stuff everywhere. If you really actually look around, uh, yeah, there's so much stuff to do. But all right, so here we go. Um, what are you going to do right now? So, I, oh, I'm so afraid I got to switch my items. No, what do I do? There you go. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's just like I absorb yeah any type of shock it's so awesome all right so this is actually the one and only area i feel like Revali's gale becomes super helpful in as well that's another reason why i want to save this trial because as you can see climbing anything and this is what makes this trial also difficult it's not just the fact that you have to avoid uh metal equipment because i mean that's pretty simple i can just pretty much remove all my items and have maybe wooden stuff so Using the Thunder Helm isn't like super amazing within this trial. I'd say what's really amazing is the fact that we can use Rivali's Gale, which I'm going to use once it's up because I just realized it's not up. But yeah, pretty much the whole trial within this is getting both balls, the one over there and the one over here, into the center and placing all the balls together. But there are more balls as well, as we can see. And it's so 
It's so funny how I'm just avoiding this entirely. Like, I don't even have to worry, but... Uh, sadly, we can't use the Magnesis on it. We have to just, like, generally be patient. Um, I mean, I could try climbing it, which I'll show off just again. So this is me with, you know, more stamina. One, two, jump. Come on. One, two, three, jump. Oh, wow, I actually did it. So let's, uh, please don't hit the ball. No! Wow. Come on, that's so dumb. I did not mean to do that. I was actually going to stasis the ball and knock it from there to there. But now I can't even do that. Because the freak, I guess the thunder is still annoying even with this. So it's just like, I don't even want to have the thunder helm on. Um, I'd rather just have wooden items and not worry about that happening. But luckily Link didn't drop the ball at least. So that's good. Alright, let's go ahead and see if I can manage to get it to the other side like this since sadly I dropped it so ugh. all right here we go one two three four five six eh, eh. all right let's just see where it goes that was barely anything that did nothing so that's still yeah this is what I meant I did not want to drop it off the platform but now it's not on it anymore what am I supposed to do I was really gonna Try using the stasis thing and seeing if it works. Okay, let me try one more time. Let's see if I make it go red in terms of like shooting it. Will it work? So one, two, three, four. Okay, let's just keep hitting it until it goes red. There we go. <gasps> yes! Don't fall off though. Hopefully it, ch hopefully it relaxed afterwards. Okay, so now one more. Revali's guilt just came up, which is perfect. So, I'm going to show off the easier way to do this since, yeah, there are two balls we have to deal with. And since I don't have to climb this one, it should be way easier. So, there we go. And then, yeah, just easily fly. This is what I mean by how awesome Revali's Gale is in this sense. But, all right, hopefully... No, 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 wait. Crap. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to slip. One, two, three, four. No, no. Okay, one, two, three, four. Then jump. Then slide. Then one, two, three, four. Then jump. Okay. So maybe you gotta climb literally like four times and then do the jump. Like you gotta like kind of count it out or something. But okay. So. Oops. Uh, come on. Wait. Come, uh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, crap. Why'd I do that? That was so bad. I was gonna try to have it go forward. I mean, I don't even think it would have reached. So it doesn't matter. But still. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can launch it atop. I mean, this is a nice platform. We gotta, like, kind of, yeah, play this, like, golf game, essentially. Trying to hit the ball, trying to whack it into the right spot. So, let me place it here. Wait, come on. Okay, place it, and then use stasis, and then... Alright. And... There we go, that should do it. So, let me back up. And, boom. Perfect. Alright. So, now that all of the balls are in the uh, giant platform, this will be very easy. Let's use Revali's Gill one more time to obtain the blue one. Or maybe I can reach it from here. Come on. Ugh. Climb. Yes, perfect. All right. Let's see if the thunder will just knock it off for me. What if it knocked it off the platform? I'd be really upset. All right. Oh, I didn't do anything. Okay, it's fine. So, we can just grab it. And then, oops throw it there we go and now it is time to place all the balls into the center so we've done the puzzle here wasn't too hard the thing is it's always raining and there's always thunder so it's just like you got to choose you know not using any metal items and trying to climb it it's just you know if you wait until you have the um thunder helm and revolis gill i just feel like that's the perfect time to do it and uh I'm honestly too, like, like, I, I don't know, it, with how, knowing how easy it is to do this with these two items, I'd rather wait. Like, normally I like solving the puzzles the way I believe, like, the game wants you to, without using any cool mechanics you learn later on. Like, I like doing it with what you're given in the beginning of the game and seeing if I can do it, but it requires a lot of patience. Don't get me wrong, you know, patience is a good thing, but... I don't know, in terms of recording, yeah, it's just, it would take us way too long to do this outside 
of having these two items. So just, you know, for the sake of getting things done, I feel like it was better to save it until now. And I mean, I'm showing off a much easier way to do it. So if you want to get this easy shrine, yeah, it's not really easy, but if you want to get the shrine with, you know, much easier than you would have, yeah, use these two items, in my opinion. They will be super helpful. But all right, so Trial of Thunder. We have done it, but it's still thundering. Yeah, well, soon this plateau will calm down, but as uh, the giant sandstorms within Gerudo, they've only calmed down after completing the trial itself. So let's see what trial awaits for us. Now, I don't believe this is going to be a blessing, which is surprising that it isn't a blessing because, yeah, that you would only assume with how long this took us, but it seems that, yeah, this is a whole shrine that we're going to have to take on, and it's known as the... Okay, I guess it's not really known as anything. I, well, I could skip this and figure out the, the name. Buried Secrets. All right, and I actually believe this is like the one shrine... Or one of the very few shrines similar to the, the shrines that we have obtained the uh, climbing bandana. Yeah, this is one of the shrines that actually holds a very valuable item that we don't want to get rid of and we don't want to miss out on. So, even though I don't really focus too much on all of the chests since a lot of them are, aren't really valuable items, I'm going to try to get a certain chest within here. It's not this one. I could actually skip out on this one because... No, this is the one! Never mind! See, it's a good thing I, I opened this one then. Yeah, one of these chests actually hold the rubber armor. And it's funny, because the rubber armor gives you shock resistance. But if you have the Thunder Helm, you become 100% lightning proof. So, stuff like the rubber armor becomes obsolete. So this is actually the armor set I wanted to get. It's a good thing I opened it up. I guess I don't really need to open up any other chests within this room. So, aim for that one. Who really... I mean, can I Magnesis this one if I can't? It doesn't really matter. But my point is, the reason why I do skip a lot of the chests within here is because I know whether or not it's a valuable item. I know there's usually a shrine. Like, if I'm going to go into a shrine that has a valuable item, I'll be sure to get it is what I'm trying to say. But, whoa! I shows you could break all the blocks like this, which is freaking hilarious. So, I think what I want to do is... Uh, there we go. And then... Uh, and I guess that's it. So there we go. We kind of got a platform heading upwards. And then we just need to break this one. Uh, uh. And we're done. Right? There's really nothing more to this, it seems. So let me just break all of these. This is so sick. I don't even have to use a bomb. You just kind of hit them together. Uh. <laughs> what the heck are we doing? All right, let's just see if there's any other secret. Because I'm really curious. I mean, I doubt there's anything else special within here. We got the item we needed, but... Okay, to actually solve the shrine, we need to figure out what's beyond this. So I highly suggest not breaking this rock right here. Because, yeah, as you can see, it's used as a platform to bring us up. And maybe if you did break it, you would have to leave the shrine entirely to have them respawn. I have a feeling that's the, the gimmick here. But, alright, we are done. And now, we can easily leave the shrine. So we got what we needed. We actually got a super secret here. And uh, if I do make my way higher, I wonder if I can actually... I doubt I can glide to it, right? Can I? No. It definitely wants you to use certain platforms to get this chest. Um, I don't really care, though. I got what I wanted. I got the freaking rubber armor. That's honestly all I wanted. Okay, it's most likely going to be an item I'm going to throw back in the chest. But for those wondering, you can get the whole rubber set. And we're going to find the other piece in another shrine. And then the last piece of the set can actually be obtained by a certain side quest but you can actually buy all the whole set later within the game by doing another side quest so there are two ways of getting it that's the interesting part i'm gonna get them both or i'm gonna show off how to get it through the shrines and side quest so basically for free but there is a way to pay money for it and that is by doing a certain side quest that's gonna pretty much open up a lot of certain things for us and it's a really big side quest. It requires a lot of grinding and a lot of money put into it, which we'll get to soon. I'm just still trying to open up the game and get a lot more stuff covered. So, yeah, there we go. So the Thunder Up Plateau has been completed. And um, as you can see, yeah, there we go. It's, uh, it's not raining. It's actually really freaking nice. This looks so nice. 
Like, it's calm again. Uh, there's no rain. There's none of that nonsense that we have to deal with. But, um, yeah, I guess that does it. As you can see, it's complete. I wonder if uh, we should head back to re... No, no, I guess we don't have to, right? That does it for the quest. So the Thunder Helm, yeah, I guess there's really no quest in hand to do. So we don't even have to report to Riju. They just kind of gave us this option with the Thunder Helm letting you know that's going to be a lot easier. But I feel like what really makes this place hard is the fact that you have to climb stuff in the rain. And that's, for me, the biggest issue here. Whoa! Freaking, okay, wait, wait, I can do this. Ugh. Also, I realized I'm so dumb, but comes out this annoying bow is because the bow itself goes in first person. I figured this out when I swapped bows at the end of the video, but I forgot to point it out. But I had a lot of you guys also tell me about it. So as you can see, third person, first person, because this is it zooms in essentially and gives me more. Uh, let me see. Actually, let's see how far it shoots. So I'm going to shoot for the tower's top and see where it lands. It almost looked like it hit the cliff. Okay. And now, let's uh, let's use a royal bow, which is actually a really OP bow. Oh, wow. You, I guess yeah, that's why it zooms in. So the distance is ridiculous. Like, you get way more distance with these quick shot ones. Or not the quick shot, but with the, the ones that zoom in. You know, it's kind of like a scope, so you can... Well, it's not really a scope. It's, it just zooms in a little bit so you can see better. Which is cool, but now we can actually explore the Thunder Red Plateau a little bit better. You know, see if we can f <gasps> see if we can find anything that wasn't really that special. But um, I guess we'll end off the episode here since we got a very valuable item, which was the Thunder Helm. And then maybe next time we'll actually start making our way elsewhere and uh, collecting more things, and yeah, hopefully finding more shrines because there's a lot to do within this game still. Like, yeah, we're, we just you know got the Gerudo stuff kind of done with, but there's so many other provinces, and we're not even completely done with Gerudo, because we still got the Highlands to discover, we got a lot of things that we still have to do, so, yeah, this world is massive, and there's still a lot more to explore, so, thank you all so much for watching, next time, we will do, as mentioned, I guess, before I can end off, I'll do what I usually do, you know, kind of open up some amiibo, <laughs> Um, just to see, okay, you know what, I'm only gonna use the Link ones right now, because I just really, really want all of the Link sets, I mean, they are very unique items, and I wanna have them, so, it'd be nice to, like, swap between them, so, yeah, I have the, let's see, the five Link Amiibos, the two Toon Link, the Twilight Prince Link, the Ocarina of Time, and the Hero Link, I'm gonna quickly open them here in Kakariko, before I end off the video, see if I get anything lucky, and, um, to make it easier to follow, I'm going to use two amiibo at a time, and then another two, and then the last one. Uh, that way, the chests respawn. I know there are only five, but I don't know why. Every time, you guys always point out me, like, forgetting a chest, or... I, I don't know. Why. Yeah, every time I open amiibo, I'm just not paying enough attention to it. Which maybe is because I commentate, and I guess I, get, I will point that out. Yeah, it, usually when I record videos, sometimes I'm not totally focusing on what's at hand. You know, I might easily forget something. Because, yeah, when, you know, you are talking and playing, it's really hard to focus at the two at hand. But, um, let's go ahead and use both Hero Link and Ocarina of Time Link. So, hopefully the game is nice uh, and, and, uh, and I get super lucky. So, come on. And Night Shield. Don't need it. Get and leave it in the thing. Alright. Now, come on, Ocarina of Time, peace. Not the trousers, though. Claymore, whatever. Okay. So, so far, no good. <laughs> That's all I could say. All right, next amiibo. Next two, actually. So, we're going to use both Toon Link. I think I have the whole Toon Link set, so it doesn't even matter. I just realized I don't even need to be farming this at all. Because you can't recolor the or, or any of your amiibo tunics. You can't really touch them in terms of, like, going to hate to know and trying to recolor them. But, whatever, I'll take the arrows they give me. Come on, don't give me a tunic. Just give me some arrows. What? Okay, good. If it was, like, the trousers or something, I'd be like, really? I don't need the Toon Link stuff anymore. But, alright, last one. The one I didn't get yesterday, which was the Twilight Princess Amiibo, because I lost the chest. So, make up for me not getting one yesterday, and have it extra special, okay? Please. Ready, Link? Alright, knock on the chest. Bam. And, <gasps> uh, wow, I got way too excited. 
Well, that sucks. Because as you can see, looking at my set, we have the Sheik one and we have the full uh, wind one. But we're missing the other ones. I mean, eventually we'll get it. Don't worry. You know, if I keep doing this at the end of episodes, we'll, we'll have it one day. <laughs> so that's the plan, guys. Because this is 100% and I'm getting everything within this game. That does mean all upgrades. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning I should be upgrading my armor as well. Don't worry, we're going to get to that too. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I guess next time we might explore Kakariko and learn a little more about it. Because there's actually a couple hidden stuff within here that we could learn about. So we'll look into that next time. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. I was Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! And well, for those wondering why I skipped this chest, because I know some of you guys might be wondering, for one who wants to 100% this game, why am I skipping chests? Well, I decided to come back, and let me just see if this works. Okay, yeah, it's gonna work. Um, yeah, I just really want to show what's inside this chest, just so those who are really, like, you know, curious about the chests I skip, this is why I skip them. So let's, let's just see what's inside this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of why I don't really see a point in getting these chests. Don't worry if, if, if it's a chest that is unique We will get it because like I said, this is a hundred percent So what I mean by that is all unique items anything that we can't get in the overworld that we can't farm That isn't something we get hundreds of I have so much opal that it, it doesn't matter See we got 20 who really cares. That's why I skipped the chests I mean, I don't really see a big point in getting some of them, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show this off because I know some people might find it annoying I mean for me at first it was really annoying like I didn't like skipping chests I felt incomplete because I'm used to Zelda games having always unique items inside the chest whether keys maps wh Whatever like usually in dungeons we're used to always wanting to get the chest, but in this game It's a lot different. So yeah, just thought I'd clarify for those wondering why I sometimes skip chests if it's not a unique item and I'm just trying to get through the thing we're just going to get through it and we're going to ignore it. So hopefully that kind of clarifies those wondering. But thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.